We're back at halftime at Golden Ram Stadium. You see that Highlands leads at 7 to nothing. Halftime stats being brought to you by Mason Elite. Being elite starts at any age. We train our players to be the best basketball players on the court and the best versions of themselves off the court. Low scoring affair so far, Mike, and these first half stats indicate that. Highlands only six first downs, Blackhawk only two. Rushing Highlands 78 yards, Blackhawk only four. Passing Highlands 42, Blackhawk only 26. Total yardage, Highlands 120, Blackhawk 30. Third down conversions, Highlands 3 for 5, Blackhawk only 1 for 4. Been a penalty mark game so far. Highlands 5 for 45, and Blackhawk is 6 for 65. Both teams have turned it over once. Time possession favors Highland 1320 to 1040. That long drive was the difference. Last week against University Prep, Highlands gave up minus four rushing. Today they've given up four rushing in six quarters of football this year. Highlands has allowed zero yards rushing. That's impressive. Luke Bombalski, 11 carries, 54 yards. Chandler Timmons, 5 carries, 19 yards. They sacked Stephen Canale twice for minus 19. Chandler Timmons was sacked three times. He's two for three for 42 yards in the air. The only touchdown of the game was an eight-yarder by Luke Bombalski, and the kick was added by Burton Babinsack. All right, Mike, Wireless Zone is the largest independent Verizon Wireless franchise in America. They're dedicated to meeting the wireless needs of your family, your business, and your lifestyle. Our store offers competitive prices on today's most popular smartphones, devices, and accessories with award-winning customer service. Stop in an AC what makes Verizon the world's largest and most reliable network. Visit your wireless zone headquarters in the Toronto Heights at the Walmart Plaza or the Pittsburgh Mill Malls and ask about 5G Home, 5G Ultra Wideband Internet for your home. Or find the wireless store nearest you by going to wirelesszone.com. Mike, halftime score, Mars 22, Newcastle 7. Uh-huh. We take you back to moments ago. If you remember when the Dean was reading the uh, stats, they were brought to you by Mason Elite. Visit MasonElite.com for more information on K-12 through grade skills development going on now through the end of October at the Pittsburgh Mills Mall, and that's at the North 3 entrance. Burton Babbitt second to kick for the first time here in the second half. Mike, our conference, the Great Allegheny Conference, had three of the top 14 passers in Derry Pale this past week, led by Caden Oldham from Armstrong. He had 280 yards. He was third. Joey Meyer, Hampton, was number eight with 227. And check this out, Mike, the most interesting one of all, number 14, Eric Kasparovich, Jr., oh my, that 186 makes, that yards. It makes me feel old. <laughs> for Mars. Sam, you're kidding. Yeah. Sam Stewart and Dante Campania back to receive this kick. He kicks a squibbler. And it comes to Sam Stewart on the 19, and he's got a head of steam up over the 30, the 35. Ooh. Oh, and he's stuck as he gets to the 37-yard line. As down there to make that one, I believe, I saw Jordan Gangloff was one of the men. And Brennan Mara. Brennan Mara, okay, well. I guess he unflooded that one. <laughs> Flooded the zone, as it were. Good field position for Blackhawk, though. They start first and 10 on their 38. Yeah, Mike, our kick coverage uh, letting up some yardage here. We've got to tighten that up. Stephen Canale dropped back to pass three times in the first half. He completed one of them <laughs> because he only threw one of them. He was sacked twice and threw some swings. Ran it to his own man that time. He did, and the, pa the toss goes back to... Vin Pham. Oh, it's 29. It's Wisner. Timmons and Bobalski on the stop. And Wisner's hit for a loss back at the 36. Now the Rams have allowed negative rushing yards this year. That's hard to believe. They're having trouble getting a winner on the 50-50. Coach Kinzana was doing a nice job, Mike, on the defense. You know, if nobody claims the 50-50, we split it up here, right? Is that how that works? I used to run the 50-50. Nobody claimed it in five minutes. It went to the boosters. The good old days. They're going to run a toss again, and this one is two hours. He doesn't get much. Right back to the line of scrimmage, and that's about all Daniel Long. First time we've called his name tonight. He made the stop, Mike, but Aiden Burford broke up that play. He jumped in the backfield really quick, turned it up inside, and... Uh, Again, short yardage on the play, going to make it third and long. This situation Blackhawk doesn't like to be in. Again, we mentioned Canale. He only threw one pass forward. 
in the first half. It was completed. Wisner resets as the sidecar. Third and long. Canale back. They're coming after him. Canale's hit. He's running backwards. And they got him, and down he goes at the 20-yard line. Tyler Bender's tremendous. <laughs> Again, give credit to McQuaid that time, Mike. He turned him up. Bender finished him off. That's his fifth tackle, first sack of the evening, and it's going to be fourth and all of Trenton. 26. It's a 16-yard loss. And now they're way behind on rushing stats. It's the Rams' third sack of the ball game. New Pritchard. punter, Mike. Yeah, Alex Pritchard. Like back at midfield, waiting for this one. Line of, line of scrimmage is the 20-yard line. Gets and it away. And is away. It's wobbly. Want to poison. And Get out of there. Oh, it takes a Highlands bounce. 38-yard line. It'll be Highlands ball after a very short punt, an 18-yard punt. Mike, we talked about passing in conference last week. Not much in the way of rushing. Evan Wright of Mars, he was 16 in the WPL at 148. And Luke Bombalski finished in the top 20 with 130. So Highland starts with great field position. They're going to say it was first touched at the 41. First down for the Golden Rams. Devin Withrop out over the football, first and 10 at the 41 yard line. Hades is the H back. Hand off to Bumbalski. Through the middle, breaks a tackle inside the 35, keeps the body and the legs moving. He gets down to the 20 or the 33 yard line. Eric Davis makes the stop. And Mike Luke picking up where he left off last week, just wearing down the defense. I have now 13 rushes, 68 yards. We'll call it second along two. Highland's first possession of the second half, they lead it seven to nothing. Boy, they're crowding line of scrimmage, Mike, look at that. Again from the pistol. Seven in the ball. Here is Wide open. Simmons firing over to White, he has it. He's got a first down inside the 25 and pushed out of bounds at the Blackhawk 23 yard line. What the Rams did this that time was they found the man in the zone where the blitzer came from, and there was and there was a wide open uh, Highlands player, and that was Braden White. Only the fourth pass of the evening for Highlands, and that goes for nine yards. Now Timmons, three of four for 53 yards. And the Golden Rams are in business, first and 10. Second catch for White for 21. Simmons back, looking, fires it down the sideline. Going to be Signorelli, he's got it! Signor, oh, no, incomplete. incomplete. Uh, yeah, well, he pulled it in. The question was, did he get a foot down over there on the sideline? And the official right on it says, no, he did not. Nice touch of that ball by oh, Chandler he, Timmons. And here's it from the crowd. They're not happy about that one. That's the Signorella family you're hearing from that's, right there. Well, that's, that's only half of the Signorella family. <laughs> Nate's not allowed to cheer. He's on the ch chains down there. He gets his work out of it down there. Him, Tiny Lewicki. Second and 10. Chandler going to keep it this time, but a good play staying home by Zach Hours. He did a great job to stay home. His uh, responsibility was the quarterback. He lost his helmet. He's gonna have to come off the field on it, but he held it to a minimal gain, only of one. It'll be third and nine. And Zach Hours, Mike, he's not a big guy at all. He's 5'10", 170, but he hits. All right, third and nine, passing situation. See what Chandler can do here. I don't know if it's a passing situation. Got two downs to get it. He is going to throw it. Sprints right, looks, fires for the end zone. It is caught. Caught for a touchdown. Samaj Miller. Miller. And that's the record tire for most touchdown passes in Highlands history. Chandler Timmons is eyeball to eyeball now with Seth Cohen. 
great catch by Miller there, Mike, too, Mike. 23 yards on that, Mike? Yes, sir. That gives him 76, five of six passing. And there's Chandler, congratulations to him. Babinsack with the boot, it is good. 7.16 to go. Here in this, the third quarter, and Highlands extends their lead. It's now Highlands 14, and the Blackhawk Cougars nothing. Maintaining good health and fitness is more important now than ever. Why not make Greatness Athletics Fitness Center in Trenum your locally owned and operated gym of choice? The right trainer makes all the difference. Gary Negley and his team of certified trainers will help you reach all your fitness goals, specializing in fitness, personal training, strength training, weightlifting, powerlifting, and even boxing. And they're always open. Just swipe your key card. Greatness Athletic Fitness Center is located at 222 East 4th Avenue in Trenum. Membership start at only $20, so give them a call, 724-681-8629, or check them out on Facebook at Greatness Athletics. And Gary has the Speed Agility Explosion Group Sessions. They go Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. They're $15 a session, and uh, those are uh, good uh, for the players after the season's over. So it would work out well for them. So Chandler Timmons now has 45 touchdowns. That's a career record over Seth Cohen, correct? It's a tie. That's a tie. I'm sorry. I thought it was the record. We need one more, Chandler. He's got 47. He's got 47, and that's tied and that's with That's a tie with Seth Cohen at 47. Squibber again. It's a squibber. It's going to come down, and it's going to be Stewart again. Stewart is hit, spun, and finally the refs. Get a ride. We got a marker down at the 30-yard line. That's where Stewart goes down. He made first contact, mm -hmm. but he spun out of that. Hades made the tackle. So we'll check out the laundry. 14-0 Highlands. 74 yards in the air for Chandler tonight. That's the first career catch for Samaj Miller is a touchdown. Holding call. And Mike, how blessed has Chandler been to have uh, the quarterbacks that coached him? Matt Benislawski, Dom Girardi, Justin Botch. Want to give him a shout out too, Mike. He's uh, helping out with the staff and he was a great quarterback. Oh, it's up backwards. Hey. It's yeah. going to go through the end zone. It's loose there. A it's a safety. They oh, threw it that. backwards. The toss was missed. It goes back through the end zone. Nobody from Highlands ever got a hand on it. That'll just go to the team. And the Rams lead it 16 to nothing. How about that? Amazing. Mike, one other name I want to throw out for Chandler Timmons. Jeff Sinclair, when Chandler was a freshman, Jeff came up and worked with him that summer and uh, did a great job with him too. And there you have probably four of the best uh, quarterbacks in the area. Sinclair, Bouch, Girardi, and Bonaslowski working with you. He's a lucky guy. Sixteen to nothing. As the Rams get a safety, as Blackhawk pitches it backwards through the end zone from for minus twenty. By the way, and we, I, that just goes as a fumble. I, I don't. That doesn't go on the rushing stats. But I think we have an injured player down there for Highland. And we do have a player down there across the field. It looks like it could be a cramp. It is Blackhawk hit. Yep. And it's a Blackhawk player. We'll take a timeout. Rams lead it sixteen nothing. We'll be right back. So the Rams score twice in. 19 seconds, the free kick will come from the 20-yard line, and a very wise man by the name of Charles Henry Knoll always used to say, a safety should always be a nine-point play. So let's see if we can cap the second part of that off. Well, we're only back to the 35-yard line, so how to check and White think they're going to get a chance to return this one. Thomas back to kick again. The senior number nine, Highlands with a 16-0 lead. Here's the boot. He won't go for the kickoff. He can punt those two. Coming up to get it is White at the 40-yard line. White tries to get to the near side of the field with a zig and a zag across the 45 and down to the Blackhawk 44-yard line. He's a handful to bring down. Yep, that was all Braden White that time, Mike. 15 yards on that return. Hines will start out in Blackhawk territory, first and 10. Leading here now, 16 
16 and nothing. So the ball will be at the 44. First and 10. Again, Chandler Timmons, 47th career touchdown pass. Ties Seth Cohen for that school record. He already has the school record for most yards passing in a career. He did that in his junior season. And we got the count down on the AK Valley going. We'll give you he had his tip. first touchdown pass, Dean, against Blackhawk at Blackhawk four years ago. The last that? time we played. Bumbalski threw a hole. They did. They caught him in a blitz. Bumbalski down to the 38-yard line. And fortunately, they were blitzing to the left, and Bobalski went to the right and gets a good yardage. Luke got off to a slow start. He only had 11 yeah. yards on six carries. Right, and I am at uh, 75 on 14. Yeah, that's more than that. So that <laughs> Lucas quantity. And it becomes harder and harder to bring down. Chandler almost tried to draw him off. High snap. Chandler is going to keep this and cut it and get to the 35 yard line. Going down low with senior Antonio Borello. And Mike, they're double A gap blitzing. What that means the two guys are standing right over the center. And again, we have a rookie center out there. You know, he's a senior, Devin Withrup. And it's got to be a scary thing to look up and see two guys coming at you. <laughs> Especially when you're Matt Bonasolowski having a discussion with the officials now. He had the um, man on the side here now talking to John Nowakowski, the ref. Third down and one. Again, with the, Rams have not, the, the Rams have not gone under center at all this year. Shot er, from the pistol. Hades is the H-back to give to Bumbalski. Bumbalski, oh, he... Stops and starts and gets the first down to the 33-yard line. That was all Luke Bumbalski there, Mike. He had nothing, but he made something out of it. That's as pretty as a two-yard gain you'll ever see in your life. First down, Highlands, and they keep possession and keep moving. Rams have rolled up nine first downs now. This is very similar to last week, too, and how they just worn down the opposition. Off yep. last week's performance, Lucas picked us a player to watch this week in AK Val, and he's come through so far. One touchdown, 77 yards rushing. Got to hurry now. Play clock's down to four. Timmons is going to sprint left. He looks. He's going to fire it down there. It's going to be, oh, coming back nicely. Look, it's incomplete. Boy, what a good job by Braden White to come back and make sure that wasn't intercepted. Got an ineligible man against and Highlands. Down at the 29 yard line. I, de I decline this, it's only a five yard penalty I think. Used to be lost it down, it's not anymore. Well, they are gonna accept it. I'm gonna put Highlands up to, it could be 10 yards, we'll see. Got a timeout here, Mike. Water break, timeout. Something's going on. Something along those lines. Let's watch the mark up the pit. It is a five yard penalty. I had to decline that. Five on Highlands. It's a 50 yards on Highlands so far. It'll be first and 15 at the 38. There's no better time than right now to stop into Highland Tire and Highland Integrity Lyman and see why they've been voted the best place to buy tires in the AK Valley since 1993, best oil change since 1995, and number one for auto repair. Highland Tire offers one of the largest and most complete inventories of tires and custom wheels in the entire Pittsburgh area. If you don't see it on site, they'll order it for you. Visit highlandtire.com or you can call them in Trenum, 724-224-9222. They Trenum Heights, 724-224-7900. Or Highland Integrity Alignment, 724-224-5900. Highland Tire, service, integrity, price, we deliver. Mike, no changes in 4A in the top five after week one. Have Aliquippa number one, Thomas Jefferson number two, the Keys 43, Central Valley is four, and Newcastle is five, Mike, but that's not changed. That's not for long. Yeah. <laughs> Referee wanted to raise the roof there. I don't know what the... I think that's starting You're to gonna jump off. around yeah. after the third quarter. <laughs> First and 15. 
Rams just grinding this clock down with a 16-0 lead. Ashton had a check. Gets to the outside, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10. Had a check on his way, and he's tripped up on a touchdown-saving tackle at the six-yard line. Dante Campania just got a piece of him, and Hadachek might have fallen on the football, or he just might be out of gas. Yep, 32-yard scamper that time for Hadachek. What a run for Ashton Hadachek. He takes it. And he's the change-up guy, Mike. He is. And that was on a first and 15. And they're going to mark it at the six, I think. 32 yards, like the Dean said. Quite a run by Ashton. So 422 left of the third quarter, and the Rams leading at 16 to nothing. Hey, you had a note on kickoff returns or something? Yeah, Mike, five years ago, Logan Christ returned the opening kickoff, 87 yards, and Coach Dom Girardi's debut against Ambridge. Golden Rams win that 28 to 14, and Gabe Booker in the same game also returned a 60-yard punt to seal the deal, and I was wondering when's the last time we returned a kick or a punt for a touchdown? Well, I thought your question was, how about one of each? I got one for you. How about the last time two brothers returned two kickoffs for a touchdown in the same game? Do you have any idea what that might be? Would that be the Christ boys? How about Elijah Jackson ah, and Jer Jeremy Jackson Jeremy, yeah. at Freeport in 2014? Elijah, an 85-yarder. Remember when they kept trying to kick it away, they finally kicked it to him, and he just ran it back for a touchdown just to prove that he was Elijah Jackson. <laughs> and Jeremy ran 169. That was in 2014. I got some more of those. We'll get to those a little bit later on. Let's take a quick timeout while they tend to the injured player. We'll be right back. Ashton Hadachek, you see him in the corner of the picture, being helped off, walking crooked. I'm not even going to speculate, but he went down pretty hard there, and hopefully he'll be okay. Hopefully just shaking up. Hopefully it's your scenario he fell on the ball. Yeah, I, which that can, win, believe me, that anybody that's yeah. ever done that, Ouch. that is not pretty. And he had that one guy to beat, Mike. First and goal, Highlands at the six. Wide side of the field to the right. They can put a nail in the coffin here, I think, where that defense is playing. Bombalski back in there. Here's a toss to Luke. Sprints to the right. Got a great block. Great block by oh, they're gonna, oh, they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna, that's a terrible Why? call. All he did was knock them on they the ground. They called Braden White. I For think he, what? he blocked them too well. I think, Mike. What, do you, what can you call there? That was an excellent block by White. It I was. And Luke that. waltzed his way into the end zone. What is that? What do you call him? What do you call it? Delay a game? Holding? Okay, holding. Didn't hold him. He threw him down. That was just not a good call. Hey. First and goal back to the 15. I got eight for 80 yards for hot as penalty wise tonight. Matt Bonasloski beside himself. Yeah, as well he should be. as well yeah. he should be. Great block. They're gonna look at that on the film and he's he's gonna get a sticker for that penalty. <laughs> we are giving stickers out, Mike. They uh, went nuts last night getting their stickers. Gotta hurry. They do. They're going to try to left this time, but they got a yeah, diagnose. Yeah. Ours has Bumpolski, and down he goes for a big loss back at the 27-yard line. And now ours is hurt. Takes him back to 65 yards now. Let's see where they put it. Ours for not being a big kid, Mike, has played big. Yeah, he's tough. Number 24. Well, let's see if Chandler can set the record, Mike. 47, he's tied. So there's Cohen. a penalty coming up against uh, Blackhawk here. Don't see the flag. It's down there at the 16. I had no idea. Personal foul. Must be it. It's going to be half the distance now. That's still, it's, it keeps becoming first down over and over again. It's first and goal at the 13 now. Highlands takes a timeout here. As the penalties keep coming back and forth. 3.56 to go in a long third quarter, Mike. Yeah, of course. You know, things were moving along quite swimmingly, and now we have to uh, 
Hey, that happens. So the ball will be placed at the 13. It'll be first down. The Rams take their first time out. Less than four to go here in the third quarter. Like okay. last week, uh, WPL teams had a tough week against outside opponents. They were only one for seven. And the only winner was our future opponent, Woodland Hills. They beat York William Penn 28-24. They played Gateway this week. By the way, Gateway upset Mount Pleasant, excuse me, Mount Lebanon last week. Mount Lebanon won the state last year in 6A. So Gateway's off to a good start. We'll see what Woody High can do with them. Some bookkeeping. Ken Wood points out that the stick says second down, so looks like that was after the play. So the play, the play counts. It's second and goal at the 13 to get that straight for you all. What a mess, huh? So personal fouls are automatic first down. The only automatic first downs in high school have the words roughing the after them. Roughing the punter, roughing the kicker, or if you rough the holder. Those are the only ones. First down, or sorry, second and goal. We'll get it right. Chandler has the option to do audibles, Mike, and it looks like he's doing one here. Hades reset. He sees something. White in motion. Timmons back. Timmons looks. Here's fires out. into the end zone. Signorella down there. We knocked out of his hands. Landed, had it for a moment. That but knocked out of his moment, hands yeah. beautifully. Looked like it was Antonio Barella, Mike. Yeah, lovely play by him. Chandler now four for eight, 76 yards, one touchdown. Remember, the next one gives him a school record of 48. Third and goal. How about a quick post, Mike? How about a quick trap? I bet it busts wide open. Third down, goal. Timmons back, here comes the blitz. Uh -oh. Timmons uh, lost uh, the ball, got out of up? there. He has he it, uh. he looks. It looks like Fran Tarkenton and he fires and it's incomplete. And his pass was intended for Roman Viverito. Of course, that's not legal, but. There is somebody over there, Bombalski, Mike. Boy, the Rams going backwards now, it's fourth yeah. down. Tyler Heckathron put the pressure on. Immediately, Mike, these guys are coming unblocked. That's the bad point. And Burton Babbins actually yep, they're going to try a field goal. goal. It'll be yep. the first one he's tried this year. This will be 30 yards on a left to right angle. Chance to give the Rams a 19 to nothing lead if he can make it. And if you remember last year, Mike, Luke Bombalski did the kick, and then Burton's come on the sophomore to take some of that off of his plate. Thirty no, yarder. No time on the clock, Mike. Oh, son of a gun. So the Rams are gonna get hit for delay a game. That is their ninth penalty for eighty five yards. We gotta clean this up. That's for sure. Two weeks in a row with uh too many penalties. So the ball back at the twenty at the eighteen. So they're going to try it again. One more time. This will be 35. He's got to get it up quick, Mike. Signorella, the holder. Good snap. Ball down. Babitzak kicks a line drive, and it is wide right. So the ball will go back to the 20. It'll be first and 10. Blackhawk at 3.30 left third quarter. The Rams drive comes up empty. So what started out as potential ends up with no score for the Golden Rams, and they'll go on defense. Remember, coming up at the end of the third quarter, we'll have unflooded trivia for you. And we'll be making our maiden voyage this week to Shar Valley. Oh, we've been there before. Well, maiden Not voyage. Not to play them, huh? We'll maiden voyage as far as first game out. Oh, our first road Rams trip, too, game. yeah. Yep. Look at this formation, Mike. Talk about tight. Everybody in tight. I think Chuck Wagner draw, drew this one up. This is Watson Trent off the right side, and not much, and another flag is down. Wow. 
In there for the Rams was McQuaid to make the tackle. Now let's check the penalty. Probably going to be a hold on the right side of the Blackhawk line. It's the race to 100. Who can get to 100 yards in penalties first? So they'll start marking it at the 7. And put it back at the 8. Half the distance. First and 22. And Canale wants to throw it. He's in trouble. He's, He's hit. He throws it to no one. That's got to be uh, intentional grounding and a safety. 21 was out there. Was right? he? Tyler Genuzzi. All yeah. right. So that falls an incomplete pass. Second and 22. <laughs> That's only the third pass Canale's gone off. Of course, one of them intercepted by Braden White. Under center again, Mike. The one time they tried to get a shotgun, they threw it in the end zone. And oh, no! it's intercepted! It's picked Daniel. up by Watt for a touchdown! Oh my goodness, he walks right in the end zone! The senior, Daniel Wong, snatched it with one hand. He looked like two tall Jones grabbing that thing. Holy smokes! And Mike, it was no ball, but he just took it clean. It was tight. He Daniel just, Long, he, he just transferred. grabbed it, and Daniel Long scores the touchdown. How many yards? Four? Yeah, that sounds good enough to me. And a goal to Rams have exploded here in the third quarter. Babin Sacks extra point is on its way, and this one is good. 3.02 left of the third quarter, and Highlands has stretched it out. They lead it 23 to nothing. 16 0 this quarter for the Golden Rams. Gives a chance to talk about unflooded. We'll have the trivia coming up at the end of the third quarter. But is your home or business ever been damaged by water or mold? Then you know how stressful that situation can be. Our friends that have flooded are there to help. Broken pipe, sewer backup, or flooding? They have the expertise to get your home dry and ready for repairs. When it comes to mold in your home, they'll come in, assess the situation, and put together a game plan for removing that mold and get you right back up and running. Visit unflooded.com or call Brian Mara anytime at 888-650-7767. Unflooded, your family owned and operated team for emergency water removal in the AK Valley. All right, we'll have trivia after the quarter. Uh, pick six, nice. We had a game in 2015 where we had a kickoff return for a touchdown, a pick six for a touchdown, and a fumble return for a touchdown. You'll be, in, you'll be surprised to know that Logan Christ returned an interception and a fumble for a touchdown in that game. Jamison Knee ran the kickoff back for a touchdown. Jamison. It's another squibber. 35. And it's picked up by Ryan Campbell. And he doesn't have far to go. The Rams have that one surrounded at the 34-yard line. Litwicki and Dodowski down there to make the tackle. So Blackhawk will try again. 2.54 left third quarter. First down at the 35 yard line. Highlands leads it now 23 to nothing. Now we have whistles and what's this all about? Timeout by the officials, they get chain issue. Our chain guys are good. They're not those guys we had at Shaler in the uh, scrimmage. Those guys were having trouble. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's called three injured players. Uh, <laughs> the more you can do. Long in on tackle. Well, he's had a heck of a third quarter. McQuaid down there, too. He has. That was uh, Tyler Genuzzi on the carry. Good yardage up to the 38-yard line. It's a three-yard gain. It's one of their longest plays of the second half. This defense is tough. 
Second and seven. Canale turns, and the give is to Hours this time, and Hours looks like he might have the first down across the 45. They send him back, but I think he does. He has it at the 46-yard line. That's the first first down for Blackhawk in the second half. Highlands gang tackling down there, Mike. Bender down there, McQuaid, and Signorella. Eight yard gain, first and 10. Bender leads the team in tackles with six, one of which was a sack. And they try it this time to Watson Trent. Two yards up to the 48. Bombalski down around the ankles, along with McQuaid, too. McQuaid. Dean, they're not changing their game plan, are they? No, they told you, Mike, they like to run. It's power eye. Nick McQuaid's having a heck of a third quarter. He has five tackles here. You know, when he comes out of there sometimes, you'll see uh, Hadachek, but Hadachek, uh, he got hurt. He's yeah. taking the pads off right now. Yeah, he, he's... He's done for the night, it appears. Second and eight. And they run a counter this time, but that just gives the Rams time to get there. Team meeting on his chest. McQuaid. Connor McGraw was the ball carrier. McQuaid again. Again, yeah. Tackle, along with Daniel Long. And it's good to see him out there, boy. He really messed up that shoulder last year. Yeah, Mike. He, one time he was our backup quarterback, but that shoulder is preventing him from doing that. But he's out there playing defense and linebacker, doing a good job for the Golden Rams here tonight. We saw him all basketball season with that contraption that you got really used to wearing. Yeah, uh, yeah. Not fun. No. Third and nine. Clock winds to 40 seconds, third quarter. Highlands 23, Blackhawk nothing. They're gonna run it again, it's Wisner and he has nowhere to go. Wesley shot through there, but McQuaid, Timmons, Bumpolski, Signorella. The whole gang, the and gang's all here. Most of uh, Harrison Township. Another big loss, back to the 44, a three yard loss. It's fourth down and that's gonna wrap up the third quarter. There are a lot of minuses on this Blackhawk sheet tonight. And again, they came in minus four against University Prep. They might be minus yeah. at the end of this game too. We have a whole quarter to go though, but it's time for unflooded trivia, Mike. You ready? I am. Okay, we had 34 coaches start the year as a first year coach at their respective school. And we, of course, established that last week. 30 of those had a game on Friday night. They made their debuts. How many won? Oh, that's a good one. I know one. Bones did. Bones did, is correct. So you're saying 30 did? 30, yes. How many win their first game? Well, you figure a lot of them might have taken over teams that weren't so good. That's why the other guy had to go. There's a theory. I'm going to say 12. I'm going to say you're close. Eight. No, oh, that's slow. That's okay. makes a lot of sense. So Bones was one of only eight out of the 30 to win his first game. And Mike, uh, no, I'm, he's had a, he's coached before. It's yes. not like he's you know first year at this first year here. He coached at Riverview. I'll give you the coaches, Mike. But Connellsville was one of them. Connellsville has are you ready for this? Try coaches. If 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 Roger Heasley was here, he'd tell us they were the Connellsville Falcons. Chad Let Lembo, I'm giving him credit. They're going for it on fourth down here, they it looks are. like. Canale is back. He looks. Uh, there's held. a hold on yeah, Bender. The pass is tipped and beautifully done by Montrell Johnson to get a piece of that. And the ball goes over on downs. Now, here's my question, Dean. If you're just going to run, 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 then you go on fourth and 12? I, can, I don't understand that, Mike. I've got to try it on third to pass it at least. Mentioned Matt Bonislawski. Guy named Kasparovic at Mars won his first game at Mars. Darwin Mange at South Allegheny. The Gators. Newcastle, Stacy Robinson. I hear glass sports beautiful. <laughs> it is. I used to run around down there back in my younger days. That's kind of your, that's yeah. your uh, stomping ground. Glass sports right past McKee Sport. Down 41. Here they all come. Here Timmons. they all come. They got Here him. They all come. There he goes. Maybe okay. they might want to blow the whistle. Yeah. Maybe they look. Now, how long ago did he blow the whistle before they fell on him? Yeah. 
And there. And there now, if he, if he gives that to Bender, I might go down there. You know, there. Let's see what they're gonna do. Bender was trying to defend Timmons. Well, he blew the he blew the whistle five yards before he landed on him. If that was the NFL, they'd put him in jail. Oh my goodness gracious! They're gonna give an unsportsmanlike conduct to Highlands. Well, Mike, a minus ten on the rush takes him down to eight. Another 15 in penalties. Listen to this. Highlands up to 10 penalties, 100 yards. Ouch, ouch, and double ouch. That's just insane. And they're going to take Minaj Lucas, Mike, and insert him into the lineup for Timmons. I think they've seen enough of the, the rough housing he's getting, so. There's a term. Yes. Why not, huh? So the down's going to count. Second in a million. Minaj gives it to Pompolski, and he's not happy right now. He gets it to the 30-yard line. The 35-yard line. It's a five-yard game. Boy, the Highlands fans are very upset, and they have every right to be. Yeah, Bender was trying to defend his quarterback, and he got penalized for it. 31 yards to go. Minaj Lucas, number 14. The Only sophomore, sophomore quarterback. Yeah. We saw him play last year. You have timeouts if you want to use one. And they are. And they do. Coaches are upset, but. Yeah, we hear that from the things, press box. Things happen. The Boucher family has been in business in Natrona Heights for over 70 years. They're uniquely qualified to help you choose home and auto insurance that protects what matters most, your family. The Bouchers are independent agents. In addition to Nationwide, they're working with all the leading companies in the industry, like Progressive Allstate and AIC, to help you find more ways to save on your home and auto insurance. Call your hometown independent insurance agents, John and Nick Boucher, 724-224-4300, to choose the coverage that's right for your family. They have evening and Saturday hours for your convenience. Remember, in the AK Valley, you're in good hands with the Boucher Agency on your side. I guess Chandler's going to have to wait till next week to set the record, Mike, huh? I think they just iced him here. He may be on ice. Yeah. Highlands leads it 23 to nothing with 10.46 left in the fourth quarter. Mike finish up the coaches won their first games. Latrobe, Rob Pratty, Keystone Oaks, Steve McCormick, and Hampton, Steve Shulia. Steve Shulia, congratulations. Author of the Year of the Deer about seven or eight years ago. Former coach of the Lancers. They're at Burl tonight. Bumbalski. Spins and turns and gets a couple. Remember Keystone Oaks, Mike? Uh, yeah. Played him a few times. I like their coach. Remember, he's a roly poly guy, a lot of fun. Hodges is going to have to punt here. Yeah, we played out. We played a KO just a few years ago in season 50. Remember, same night, Friday night Labor Day weekend. Yeah, and um, I think we hit Eaton Park before that one, didn't we? The writer for the Pittsburgh Steelers, Phil Palto. Ray Fittipaldo. Yeah. Oh, Bobalski just, and I mean just, gets that out Look of there. Look at that bounce. And as they like to say, it takes a Highlands bounce. And it's going to be killed at the 13-yard line. A 50-yard punt. And another penalty marker, right? Oh, goodness. Personal foul, roughing the kicker. That's an automatic first down, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, first down, it. Highlands. Well, it's, you don't see it too often. Yep, there you go. Automatic first down. Does that get Blackhawk over 100, Dan? 15 more yards? Uh, no, they're only at 80, Mike. Oh, darn. I'm so sorry. In that game, though, Mike, uh, Johnny Christ had a great game. Remember, he made that a 99 yard touchdown pass yeah. from uh, Seth Cohen. Never to be broken. And he had that one at the end. Remember, we went up about five guys and caught the yeah, ball. Yeah, we weren't exactly sure if that was going to count the kind of the oh, by the way, touchdown at the end. KO put a licking on Islands that night, but there was a lot of points in that game. Was Johnny oh, a freshman then? No, no, Johnny was not a freshman. Sophomore? But he came up to me and said, where's he going to play college football? I said, are you kidding me? He's a basketball player. 
Turns out I was wrong, huh? <laughs> Went to Penn State at football scholarship. First down on the Blackhawk 49. I might want to get Luke out of there while I'm at it. Minaj Lucas keeps it. I think the coaches wanted him to keep the last one. Yeah, that's, he kept that one. That's why he kept this one. He got a yard down to the 38, 48. The Rams will be very willing to wind some time here. 9.34 to go in the game. Highlands leading comfortably here, 23 to nothing. Again, we mentioned next week we will be at Chartiers Valley. You just, you just get on 79 and keep going. If you got to the Meadows, you went too far. Red, white, and blue. The Colts. Used to be a Damon's out there, Dean, remember? Yeah, we were there. That's not there anymore. Uh-oh. Minaj. Oh, oh, boy, that something. was just the way they drew that up. Made something on nothing. <laughs> Lucas gets to the 42-yard line, a six-yard gain. Third and three. Plus the nine to go. Third down. Bumbolski. He's not going to make it, Mike. Oh, well, they got him. Zach Hours again from behind. Yep, they're getting tackled. Grabbed him down low and put him down. Let's see where they put him. They're going to give him the line of scrimmage. It's no gain. It's fourth down. Does Highlands go for this? I'd say why not. I would say so. Nope, they're going to punt it. No. Preserving a shutout, Mike. Well, Blackhawk hasn't really shown any attention to move the ball. I mean, last week, at least University Prep hit some long passes. Their quarterback threw for nearly 200 if he didn't throw for 200. So that was something they had. But there, Blackhawk has not even had that tonight. Now, Bombolski's last one got wiped out for the roughing the kicker penalty. It was 50. He doesn't need 50 this time. Boy, he and a it down. boom to the near side of the field. But it's going to go out of bounds. And it looked prettier than it's going to turn out. Short net on that. They're going to mark it. That's going to end up about a 10-yard punt. I'm going to say the 32, right at the 30. 12-yard punt. But that gives Blackhawks 70 to go at 722 remaining. Mike, the clock continues to run. That's interesting. Yeah, that's called forgetting to shut it off. <laughs> and we've all voted in favor of that, by the way. First down for the Cougars at the 30-yard line. The Highlands... Rams leading it 23 to nothing. Trying to move to 2-0, and, oh, and as we like to say, Dean, you can't win them all. Two win the first two. Look like an eye formation this time. They give it to Hours and Bumpolski hit him hard and brought him down at the 30-yard line. High and hard. Assist from Noah Leslie. Bumpolski now. Eight tackles on the night, including one sack. Leads the team in tackles. Menage Lucas, Mike, not only filling for Chandler at quarterback, he's in a linebacker for him, too. I think Chandler's okay. I think they decided to get him out of there. I think if the referee's not going to protect him, the coach should. Yeah, that's one way to look at it. Canale is back, and he's going to fire it deep, and he's got him out there, and there it is. That's exactly what University Prep did to us last week. Yep. Caught beautifully over the shoulder by Anthony Malagies for a first down deep into Highlands territory. 11 on 11, Aiden Burford that time on defense, but nice throw that time too, Mike, on top of the catch. 29 yards, yeah. first down Blackhawk at the Highlands 41. And now a run to the right Great side by, by Zach Johnson. Hours and the Rams are there to get him. Montrell Johnson all by himself that time, Mike. Brayton White's one. hurt, Dean. That's not well, good. He's holding that right knee. You don't need and that. Cramp, okay. Hope. What a play by Montrell coming up from his uh, 
defensive back position to spin Zach Hours down. Let's take a timeout. 6.06 to go, fourth quarter. Highlands leads at 23-0. We'll be right back. Blackhawk right now in with minus four rushing. Does that sound familiar? <laughs> Same as last time. Minus week. eight for the season. Watson Trent. Now he's going to get into the plus territory. Inside the 35 and down to the 34-yard line. Minaj Lucas makes a stop. Third down for the Cougars. They need three. Rams trying to wind it down here as the clock winds to less than six to go, fourth quarter, on a very warm Friday night on Labor Day weekend. Doesn't seem like Labor Day, does it, Mike? Watson Trent gets hit hard, and the Rams stand him up short of the first down. Well, there, team tackling tonight, huh? Long down there. There's Long's the fired up since he had his touchdown there. Bombalski. So it's fourth down, fourth and two. Let's see if the Rams can hold him here and get the ball back. Make two, three first downs and get out of here. Works for me, 4.50 to go. Canale under center. Grabbing motion. The give is to ours. Ours is hit and he spins forward, but he doesn't get there. The Rams are there waiting. Nothing doing. Nice play in there by Bender. Bender, Hewlett, and Randolph. And also, uh, Angelo Markey, 57, Dean. So the Rams turn it over on downs. And continue to be very stout against the run so far this year. Heck, last week I even took the sacks out. Yeah. And it, they still only averaged 2.3 yards a carry just on running backs. I think they're going to come in minus for the season. Here's the give and squirting through nicely is Julius Saunders. Found some running room and gets up to the 35 yard line, gets a couple. Bombolski on ice now, too. Yeah, Chandler's moving around just fine down there. Like I said, I think that was all protect him. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Second and eight. Now, Minaj, take that play clock down. Saunders again. No, Minaj kept it. Oh, boy, that was a good one. Minaj out to the 41-yard line. He got me. He's good at faking it, Mike. We have a doubleheader JV game tomorrow, Mike. A doubleheader? Yeah, our JVA. Now, is that single admission or is it a day-night doubleheader? I think it's single admission. Okay. JVA will play four quarters at 10 o'clock. JVB will play two quarters at noon. And that saves us the 6 p.m. Labor Day trip to Blackhawk. The beautiful Thrill. Darlington. All thrilled about that. I want to go to Darlington, but I want to see a race. I think that's this week. Or it is. Third down. Three and a half. Saunders. Nothing doing. Spins. And they throw him out of bounds at the 41 yard line. The clock will wind. Fourth and two. Oh, Bombolski's not on ice because he has to punt. 2.42, clock winding, fourth quarter. I'm trying to think of our backup punter, Mike. I think it's called open auditions. He had that for long snapper at one point. Landed Signorella doing that. Yeah, our long snapper is supposed to be Boyd Brown, but unfortunately got hurt. Okay, the Rams have 11 now. He's out for the year, unfortunately. Uh -oh. oh, boy, it's a looper. And Luke gets it out of there and wow, kicks a beauty, a high one. It's going to hit. Rams got to get on that. Boy, how that. They had a Blackhawk player grabbed. 
I believe it was 32. Brendan Hayes by the jersey, spun him around like a rag doll, and there was no flag. Hmm. So spinning the H back around like a rag doll is now legal. First down at the 40, Blackhawk with 2.10 to go. My goodness gracious, seriously. Is somebody going to get hurt? I mean, they, they've thrown a flag on everything else. Yeah. I know they want to go. I understand they want to go home and start their weekend. I get that. Two minutes to go here in the fourth and final quarter. I'm just trying to preserve the shutout now. And what do we got? No. Plenty of time. Ball left start on the against the Cougars. They're trying to get up there, Mike. Nine for 85. One more 15 yarder. Blackhawk loses this game tonight. They are going to be in the last two years plus the start of this season, four and 16. Ouch. And that was after. They started off well under Zach Hayward, 17 and seven the first two years. The only, Dean, the only man in Blackhawk history to play in the NFL, any idea? Blackhawk? They've had one NFL player at Blackhawk. That's one more than Highlands, by the way. It is, we were talking about this before the game. Canale is gonna go deep. deep. Well, he got an arm on him and it's incomplete. He tried to find his intended receiver, who was Dante Campagna, it's incomplete. Would I know this person? You might. He played for the Steelers for a year. Hello. What? College? Kansas State. That didn't help. <laughs> yeah, before Bill Snyder. <laughs> he played for the Steelers in 83, the Browns in 84, and he also played for the Pittsburgh Gladiators. He's in the Beaver County Hall of Fame, and here is his claim to fame. Okay. He has the longest fumble recovery for a touchdown in Steelers history against the Cleveland Browns in 1983 in a game the Steelers won 44 to seven. Now they're gonna run a little scissors action to ours and Aaron Randolph has them. Well, those, they'll, they'll find a face mask on that though. Bobalski, Randolph. Now, again in high school, you can go five or 15, so we'll see what they call. 75 for the Golden Rams is Noah Leslie. He said 15 yard face mask yeah. call. And that should be enough for a first down, I think. From the 34. 10 tackles. No, it's not. Like. What do we got the Rams on penalties, Dean? That's 15, 15 more. 15 more, how about uh, 11 for 115? That's lots. They didn't make the first down. It's second and two at the 48. How about that? How about some initials, Mike? G B. G B. Gordon Babinsack. Uh, Greg Best. He was a defensive back, a safety. I think, I think he may have worn 25. That was my next guess. The pass is complete off the left side to Malagies. Quay made the tackle, but let me tell you, he made the play. Daniel Long forced the quarterback up in the pocket, got his hands in the air, made him throw it higher, and took advantage. It's a three yard loss as Malagies pills it in. By the way, our offensive player of the week last week was Luke Bombalski. Defensive player was Daniel Long. And the special teams player was Julius Saunders. Third and five. No. And they run it up the middle and they don't make the first down as the, the back, it was Bombalski that was in there to get Zach Ars. He got two to the third to the 47. And it's fourth and three with less than a minute to go. Kaden Kowalski also in there. Well, oh, he played a great best played in Canada also. And we also find that he was number 25 for the Steelers. So we did have that. Fourth and four, 35 seconds left. Double wing to the right. They're gonna run a toss to ours. The Rams have it, and Bumbolski shuts it down and preserves the shutout. There you go, Mike. That's the 12 tackles. I wasn't gonna say it till it was secured. That's the first Highland shutout since opening day last year when they shut out University Prep right here at Golden Ram Stadium, 27 to nothing. 22 
different Golden Rams made tackles here tonight, Mike. I also think 22 different Cougars ran the ball. That's Good what my man. score sheet says. It looks like somebody bled all over it. So Chandler had 76 yards, four for nine. Kombalski had 73 yards on 19 carries. It was really a tough game tonight from both standpoints, both defenses. I think I said in the pregame, Mike, slobber knocker. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what it was. Thank you very much. That's exactly what it was. So the Rams are going to go to 2-0. They'll go to Char Valley next week. The Rams will then open conference play two weeks from tonight here at Highlands against North Catholic. That's our next home game. You'll want to be here for that. We mentioned Blackhawk will play Mars at home next week, and then they will host Ambridge on the 16th, and that will uh, be their first Parkway Conference ball game. So the Rams will, could take a knee here if they like. I don't know that Zach Hayward's going to call time. And the Rams are going to get a home win out of this series. Dating all the way back to 97, they hadn't won a home game here against Blackhawk. And to give us to Saunders off the left side, stays in bounds, it goes down to the 40 yard line, and I think that's gonna wrap it up. And that'll do it. It wraps it up, the final score here tonight. The Highlands Golden Rams 23 and the Blackhawk Cougars nothing. Dean, any final thoughts? Yeah, Mike, I don't know how many teams in the WPL after two games has let up negative yardage on the ground. Uh, I don't know, but I think we may have one of them. We'll get those official numbers during the week, but they have been pretty tough here so far defensively. Well, thanks to everybody. Thanks to cameraman Dan, Ken Wood, John Danknich, everybody for helping us out in the booth. Once again, that final score. Highlands 23, Blackhawk nothing. For the Dean, Mike Choma, this is Mike Pavlik saying so long. Everybody.